Hi everybody, congratulations class of 2020 on this big moment of accomplishment. Both Deborah and I hope you are well and safe and savoring this day because you all earned it. Now, it is a little bit different than what you may have had in mind when you began senior year with so much excitement, so much promise. As we all know, this world has changed a lot. In fact, we both ha have to admit that it wasn't easy trying to figure out what to say at this moment in time as we commemorate this special time. A few weeks ago, we would have been talking about the pandemic urging you to hold on and to begin moving on through this difficult time. Well, now the world is shifting even more, exposing deep and painful fissures around us, around the issues of race and injustice. You were always going to be stepping out into a complex world, no doubt about that, but now you're also stepping into a world that is hurting. And if you are frustrated or maybe even a little anxious, that's understandable. Life is complicated, and that's the final big lesson that you're going to have to take away with you as you graduate. But we want you to pause and think differently about your circumstances. Yes, this is an unusual graduation. Yes, things are a bit unsettling. And yes, it's going to take big changes and big ideas. And that's where you all come in. You are a graduating class that will go down in history. Some might even say you're a chosen group of graduates. Now, I know you're rolling your eyes, and I've got teenagers. I've seen some eye rolls. Uh, but think for just a few seconds. All 2,500 of you have an opportunity to step up, not just to get your diplomas, but to show the world what it means to pivot in the face of difficulty, to create meaning and success in any situation, whether it's a pandemic or a change in, in our racial uh, evaluations, how we see people, how people see us, when the things you are expecting to do don't go the way you expected it to. Now, most of you have had supportive family or friends in your corner to get you this far. There have been days, I am sure, where you felt like you just didn't have it in you. You didn't want to give 100%. Someone probably nudged you along, and if you, they were like my parents, they probably threatened you to get you to get your act together or else. Well, someone cared enough about you to get you through, to make sure that you did that last project, passed that test, won that football game, Somebody helped you get here and to succeed, got you over the hump, made sure you didn't fail. Well, now it's on you. It's up to you to get past these obstacles, these moments of concern, and of course, some disappointment. Okay, so we know that this year ended in unexpected ways, and we still don't even know how it's going to end. You didn't get to go to prom. You didn't have those final basketball games. You didn't get to pull those final senior pranks on the teachers you weren't so crazy about. And you're not getting that strut across the stage right now to grab that diploma and hear your families carry on way <laughs> too loud. Uh, no one can blame you for feeling bummed, class of 2020. No pomp today. That is your circumstance. But now it is up to you to decide what to do with this moment, how to take these struggles and make this a better world. When I was growing up in small town Georgia, post-segregated Georgia, um, I too had my world rattled in a really big way. All those civil rights marches and struggles had led to a monumental Supreme Court decision, Brown versus the Board of Education, which later threw open the schools to integration. Now, after attending an all-black school for most of my life, for the first four years of my life anyway, I was now stepping into a new and kind of bewildering world. Um, yeah, it was kind of bewildering to some of my classmates and their parents. Some of them might have been even disappointed with this new and unsettling time. How are we going to cope with this unknown, some of them might have asked. Um, some, no doubt, wanted to know what this is going to mean for the future. It was a new time. It required a different way of thinking. Well, now, this was no pandemic at that time. There was some social distance, I have to say, and there was great fear in stepping out into the new world. But like so many of my classmates, I decided that this was a moment to change the equation, to find ways to excel, to be stronger than those who were fearful, to reach deep down and to find my greatness. And in fact, given what is going on right now with all the protests, with a, a resurgence of civil rights, and a lot of young people like you 
leading the way. Class of 2020, this is your moment, your chance to take what history is handing to you and to find your greatness. Some of you are, are celebrating extraordinary success, scholarships, acceptance to elite colleges, even the honor of introducing a former president of the United States during an online talk. Some of you are the first in your families to finish high school and to take steps toward a more promising life. Some of you may even help find a cure for this virus or emerge as leaders in our country, helping us find a new way. And we desperately need new creative leaders. We are so very proud of you, along with Superintendent Talisa Dixon. You are our future, our hope of getting past these difficult times and on to something better. Okay, yes, we may be wearing masks for a little while and maybe doing elbow bumps for a little bit longer until we get there, but we will get to a better place because of you. So as former First Lady Michelle Obama suggested, do a little dance today. Celebrate yourselves. Don't do that dance, please. But celebrate yourselves because you have earned this moment and nothing Nothing can take that away from you. So as you step out into this big, complicated, unpredictable world of ours, well, I like to do predictions, but that's a whole other story. I urge you to step boldly. Do it like you mean it. Make your decisions count. Someone once said, every decision that we make leads us down a different road. We'll never come to exactly the same crossroads. Every decision that we make has significance. The tiniest choice that we make reverberates throughout the entire universe. So today, class of 2020, accept your moment in history. They're going to be talking about you for a long time. You are the class that stepped back out into the light after some dark days. You are the class that is going to change the way we go forward. As the great Maya Angelou says, up from the past that's rooted in pain, I rise. So class of 2020, you rise. Give yourselves a personal hug. Give your classmates a virtual fist bump. Give your folks your deepest gratitude and celebrate yourselves wherever you are right now. This is your moment of achievement and nothing can take that away. Congratulations, Congratulations, class of 2020. Good evening. I am Daryl Sanders, the proud principal of Columbus Alternative High School, also known as COS. I would like to welcome all of you to the cause commencement for the class of 2020. Let me take this opportunity to thank some very important people who have been instrumental in this class of success. First, our cause families who have been the cheerleaders for your students throughout their tenure in Columbus City Schools. Secondly, our cause distinguished faculty, administrative team and staff whose unwavering commitment to academic excellence could only be surpassed by their sincere concern for the overall well being of each and every student. Last but definitely not least, I would like to thank our full cause PTA who have been avid supporters of our staff and students and always provided assistance wherever needed. It is the hard work and dedication of all of our cause learning community that makes a special event like this possible. Class of 2020, I can remember your entrance into the building four years ago as freshmen, and many of you were uh, trying to find your lockers and others were trying to find where their classes were located. And some of you looked around with bewilderment, uh, feeling sometimes overwhelmed being a new freshman. But I can also remember you gathering in the auditorium for class meetings and also in the cafeteria for lunch, waiting your turn in line. But more importantly, I remember the excitement of many of your faces to learn every day when you walked in the building. Your commitment to our school's motto, cause where academic excellence is the standard and not the exception, was actualized in you every day. Now, here we are four years later and you are graduating. 
You have triumphed over many personal and school obstacles, but you have made it. One of the biggest obstacles being the unexpected end of your senior year. However, it is important for you to know that you will be remembered as the best class that ever graduated from COS. You will be remembered as the class that through tumultuous times were resilient and persevered to the finish line. You have proven to yourself, your families, and the world that you are now ready to face any situation that life may afford you. In every situation, you will rise to the challenge. I want to thank all of you for teaching every adult in the world the valuable lesson of not stopping in spite of life storms. I wish you great success as you continue to transcend the mundane and become the change in the world that you want to see. Congratulations, class of 2020. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Seniors, it is my honor to address the class of 2020 and congratulate each of you on your graduation. Though you're not together with your classmates in the same place to mark this important milestone, I am no less proud of each of you. It does not diminish your achievements individually or collectively. As I pre-record this message today, which is Monday, June 15th, to address the class of 2020, all of us are reeling from a roller coaster of raw emotions. Each of you and your families, our city, our country, and the entire world is still coping with the health and economic impacts of the COVID-19 world pandemic. And our hearts and minds continue to be filled with sadness, anger, frustration, and disgust at yet another brutal act against a member of the African-American community. Columbus City Schools has reaffirmed its commitment to the fight to overcome systemic racism and working for change in our schools and in our community. As superintendent, together with the Board of Education, I am committed to making meaningful, forward-thinking changes that address racism, sexism, and gender and religious-based biases inside and outside of our classrooms. Today, I ask each of you to join me by making your own commitment to be an agent of change. The commitment to change is how you decide to define it. And you should know that your definition of change will, well, change. It is what former First Lady Michelle Obama calls becoming. I believe we need immediate change and we need long-term lasting change. In fact, we must demand both. We cannot stay the same as individuals if we are to transform as a community and as a society. I close with a quote from President Barack Obama as told by Michelle Obama in her book, Becoming. She quotes the president as telling those who join him to address social change from the streets of Chicago to the halls of the White House. Do we settle for the world as it is, or do we work for the world as it should be? My call, my challenge to the class of 2020 is a commitment to the latter. Please celebrate change Please be the change. Cosmic scholars, I must say it's been a long four years. We've survived more monsters than most other schools could even fathom. 
mice in the classrooms, exploding transformers, our principal fainting in the heat, three years with elementary school-sized bathroom stalls, flying terrors in the science wing, and now this. And yet, like every single cause graduate before us, we have taken this heroic journey of a high school and through our struggles found the best education offered in a Columbus City school. We have succeeded in expression of the arts through chorale, jazz band, concert band, our IB artists, and the theater department, despite a constant flux of leadership. We have traveled all across Columbus in our internship programs. And still, even with all of that, we have returned home to excel in advanced coursework at cause. In fact, we have found success through every academic program offered to us by our school system. Downtown and Fort Hayes Career Centers, College Credit Plus, IB Classes and Diploma, APUSH, and rigorous coursework in our core cause classes. It's been a long four years, but it's been a long four years of preparation for our future. Countless times, I have doubted my decision to attend cause. It would have been so easy to just go to my home school. I mean, imagine summer without summer reading, freshman year without two column notes, and yet, I still know that every one of us in this room made the right decision. Whether we go into the workforce, start a business, go to trade school or a university, our time here has prepared us to make an impact on every future community we might inhabit. When we leave, we will take our unique cause experiences across the nation to schools as close as OSU or Columbus State, and as far as the University of Southern California. It's been a long four years, but I want to challenge you all, every student watching this, to continue your hard work. Now is not the time to roll over when there is so much left to do. Every one of you has the potential to make great and lasting change. And so I challenge you to commit yourself to that change going forward. Now more than ever, we need to rise to the occasion together and make the best of this horrible situation. Be there for those you love. Don't let them forget that you love them. And remember that when we remain united in spirit, these struggles will end faster than they ever would alone. This too shall pass. So support the people around you, continue to grow with them, and make the world a better place in whatever ways you can. I have seen you all do great things. I have seen you get accepted into great programs and receive scholarships beyond any amount we could have dreamed up. And so I hope that you all will continue to do great things. Our journey is not over. And although our stories until now have been similar, although we have struggled through the same assignments in the same sweltering heat, although we have persevered through this same pandemic as seniors, although we have laughed and loved and lived together for the past four years, we must now move on. We must travel our own unique paths and make them ours, journeying forth in our uncertainty separate but together in our discovering of self. My friends, we will go far. We have come far already. It's been a long four years, and I don't know about you, but I am so glad that they're finally over. I know I've talked a lot about moving on and continuing our journey, but let's take some time to enjoy this victory, because it is, it is a victory. Despite the circumstances, I hope that you will all enjoy your summers, staying safe, and from now till forever, 
don't forget where you came from. Cause, where academic excellence is our standard and not the exception. Cause, class of 2020, it is an honor to be here with you to help celebrate this amazing milestone in your lives. Graduation from high school is a combination of years of hard work. You deserve this celebration. Now a number of seniors reached out to express the profound emotions you all felt about our virtual graduations. Our board and superintendent made a tough decision to protect the health and well-being of our community. The consequences of that decision changed the format of your graduation. I recognize and understand that you all did not get the type of senior memories you previously anticipated. You see, we anticipated year 2020 differently. Some of us with jokes referencing vision. My son would trick me every time with a joke that went something like this. Mom, where do you see yourself in the upcoming year? You don't know because you don't have 2020 vision. A cheap shot to a person who wears glasses, but extremely applicable to everyone now, whether you wear glasses or not. We see, we all recognize that 2020 has been a year no one could imagine or predict. 2020 is a unique year indeed, beginning with the fact that it's a palindrome, which happens only once in a century. It's a leap year with 366 days, and it is the first year in a decade known as the 2020s. With this uniqueness, there is also a general consensus that 2020 has been unprecedented, challenging, uncertain. These words were often used to describe our collective response to the impact of the coronavirus. The Rona reshaped our society in previously unthinkable ways as school buildings closed. Families, students, teachers, and staff quickly adjusted to online learning. Business leaders adjusted their thinking beyond survival to opportunities this pandemic would create from curbside pickup to working from home. Political leaders across the world had to not only recognize, but respond to globalized healthcare. Indeed, COVID-19 changed the world as we knew it. And things changed day by day and week by week. However, 2020 is yet unique in several other ways. While it marks the 855th anniversary of the Magna Carta, a document symbolizing freedom from oppression. It also illuminates the continued oppression faced by Black, Brown, poor, LGBTQIA community. While it marks the 155th anniversary of the adoption of the 13th Amendment, the 150th anniversary of the passing of the 15th Amendment, the 100th anniversary of the passing of the 19th Amendment, it also casts a clear light on the inequalities, injustices, and systematic racism that persist in our world. The murder of Black men, women, and children, including George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Sandra Bland, Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, and Henry Green have galvanized the world into action. 2020 is a unique time in our world, a time that has called for us to reimagine our way as being individuals, as being a community, as a world, for the good of all humanity. Our future calls for unprecedented humanity and thoughtfulness, a future that demands a new blueprint, as Asiya Muhammad stated so passionately and concisely on the auditorium stage during my oath of office. 2020 is a unique time in our world, a time that has called us to reimagine our way of being as individuals, as a community, as a world, for the good of all humanity. 
Our future calls for unprecedented humanity and thoughtfulness. A future that demands a new blueprint, as Asiya Muhammad stated so passionately and concisely on the auditorium stage during my oath of office, our world needs you, class of 2020, to bring your ability to adapt, adjust, and achieve in the face of a pandemic, racism, injustice, inequalities, to inform how we take action to establish policies and implement practices that create a more equitable, inclusive, and humane world. You see, as cosmic scholars, you have shown that you have the academic aptitude to advance the change that our world needs, be it in the halls of 2632 McGuffey Road or in online classrooms through Zoom. You have continued the rich legacy of cause excellence. But you've also shown that you have the skills and commitment to advance the change our world needs. As many of you slipped on your vans and laced up your Air Force Ones, in some instances, the black ones, to march through the streets of Columbus, giving life to President Barack Obama's words. Let us resolve to continue our march towards a day when every person knows the unalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Some of you convened virtual town hall meetings with our district and community leaders to voice the needs and concerns of your entire class, while others use the power of the pen and the impact of social media to mobilize your families and peers to fight for justice. Cause, class of 2020, let me say it directly and clearly, 2020 is unique because of you, because of the entire class of 2020, because of the ways you have shown grit and resilience, because of the ways you have stood and fought for justice, because of the ways you are taking action to make our world better. Class of 2020, it is your time keep making us proud. Congratulations on your graduation. I'm so very proud of you all. Thank you. Columbus City Schools, to the class of 2020, congratulations. It's your boy, E.T. Let me just share with you three things that I think are important. All right, so I know you were disappointed. I mean, I get it. I will never forget um, my junior year, my junior year in high school. You know, I finally did driver's ed, you know, um, uh, applied for my driver's license. You know, I took the test, you know, uh, did the driver's test and voila, got my license, right? And my mom blessed me with her old car. I'll never forget, Escort. <laughs> I'll never forget, it was an 84 Escort, right? Super pumped up. Guys, in the first two weeks of me having the vehicle, guess what? I got into a car accident, right? And I remember it like yesterday. It was a hit and run. I remember I hit this old lady. I wasn't paying attention. Didn't stop at the red light. Crashed into her. And look, I'm going to be real with y'all. I was so nervous. I was so afraid. I actually drove the car. that I broke that axle. You could hardly drive it. I drove that sucker up the street, got out, and ran. <laughs> yup, I ran from the scene of the crime. And I'll never forget police calling my mom. I'll never forget the police coming by the house and I lost my car. I wasn't able to do certain things. And I just remember an old wise person saying this to me. At some point, regardless of how difficult it is, how challenging it is, how hurt you are that you got your license, your first car, and you totaled it, you gotta get over it. All right, come on. I'm talking to somebody today. As devastating as COVID-19 was and is and how it rocked our worlds and changed our plans, at some point, you have to put it behind you in the rear view mirror and you got to move forward. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And guess what? This is probably not going to surprise you, but I've had three or four cars since then. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I've had three or four cars. So where your focus goes, your, en your energy flows. So if you're gonna continue to think about, I didn't get to graduate, you know, I didn't get a prom, I didn't go on my senior trip, 
Like if you focus on everything that didn't happen, you know what? You're going to go on a, a spiral downward. I will never forget growing up a Detroit Lion fan and Barry Sanders, who's probably one of the greatest running backs to ever do it. I remember he wouldn't celebrate. And I would always ask, like, why is he not celebrating like some of the other football players? You know what he said? He said, my daddy told me, you will continue to score. You're going to keep getting touchdowns. You're going to keep getting a lot of yards. Like, don't act brand new. Don't act like you're not going to do it again. Guys, you're going to get opportunities to graduate. College, you're going to get opportunities to graduate law school, graduate from medical school. All right, whatever. You're going to get opportunities. All right, so... Let's put this behind us. Remember, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So this leads me to number two. Look, if you got bad energy, all right, you're probably going to give 70%, 80%. When you have good energy, you're going to give 120%. And watch me. You actually attract more by being 120 than you attract at 70. All right, let me just be real. You know what I'm talking about. Some of you don't like to wash the dishes. Some of you don't like to do the trash. Some of you don't like to cut the grass. Like, you just don't like chores. Some of you, like, you don't like doing homework. And watch this. When you do things and you don't like to do those things, you don't put the same energy in. And as a result, you don't get the same outcomes, guys. If you want to blow up, if you want to make a lot of money, if you want to live in a gated community, if you want to drive whatever car you want to drive, if you want to be your own boss, if you want to be an entrepreneur, if you want to change the world, like if you got dreams, goals, and plans, you cannot waste your energy. Listen to me. You only get 24 hours in a day. You only get so many opportunities. You can't waste those opportunities because you own some negative. You can't waste those opportunities because you don't particularly care for this or you don't particularly like, here's what my, I love it. Here's what my parents used to tell me back in the day. Listen to me, you don't have to like washing the dishes, but you're gonna wash them anyway. You don't have to like cutting the grass, but you're gonna cut it anyway. You don't like, have to like taking out the trash, but you're gonna have to take it out anyway. You don't have to like going to school, but you're gonna go anyway. If I were you, since I have to do it anyway, I would enjoy it. And so you've got to find a way when others are down and out. You've got to find a, a, a way when others don't like it. You've got to learn to enjoy the sun, but you also got to enjoy the rain. You've got to know that while you love playing in the sun, if it was only sun, if only the sun shine, then the trees wouldn't grow and the flowers wouldn't grow and we wouldn't get vegetables. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Everybody loved the sun, but can you stay in the rain? And what I need you to understand is that there are blessings when the sun shines, there are blessings, oh, come on, when the rain comes down, there are blessings when it snow. Do you know in, in certain places in the United States of America that when it actually gets cold in wintertime, do you understand that it kills certain germs, it kills certain bugs, there are blessings in what you would think is a cursing. I'll never forget, my wife got diagnosed with multiple sclerosis about five years ago. Oh, I, when I tell you one of the best things that could have happened to our marriage, best thing could have happened to our career, best thing could have happened to our family. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Why? Because she left her job. Because we started exercising more. Because we changed our diet. Right? Because we started traveling the world together. And there were opportunities that came to us that had she not gotten sick, she would still be at her job for the next 20 years. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your attitude determines your altitude. Are you hearing me? And so oftentimes, you think it's the circumstance or you think it's the situation that's the blessing. No, it's your perspective, how you see it. Henry Ford says, if you think you can, you're right. If you think you can't, you're right. All right, I'm going to say it again. If you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. And so I need you to change your attitude. I need you when it's bad, I need you to see it's good. When it's good, I need you to see it's good. And when it's great, I need you to see it's great. I'll say it again. When it's great, I need you to see that it's great. When it's good, I think you need to see it as great. And when it's bad, you need to see it as great. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your attitude actually determines the outcome. The outcome don't determine the outcome. The circumstance and the situation doesn't determine the outcome. You determine the outcome. Now listen to me. I got two more things for you. The next one I want to say to you is listen to me. I, I dare you to dream. I want you to dream the dream, but then I want you to work it. Listen to me. The dream works, but you got to work it. 
The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. Are you hearing me? The only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. You can have it, but you got to work for it. And then my final one, when you become an adult, there are going to be days that you just don't feel like trying. But here's what I want you to do for me. I want you to always remember, I can, I will, and I must. In your darkest days, I need you to repeat that. I can, I will, I must. So as I leave, I know you remember the story. I know you remember the story. The, the, the little train that could. Yep. I know you remember that, that train when it looked at the train track and it looked at how that train track was. It, it said, I don't know if I could do that. I don't know it. Something said, just get on, just get on the track. Like, just give it a try. And so it got on that little train, got on the track. Chooka, 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 choo. Chooka, 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 choo. Choo. And it got on that track and it started going a little bit. And it start going a little bit. And it start, listen to me very closely in life. Sometimes you won't feel like it, but if you put your shoes on anyhow. Sometimes in life you're not going to feel like it, but if you put your pants on anyhow. Sometimes in life you're not going to feel it, but if you put your hoodie on anyhow. Sometimes in life you may not feel it, but if you put your baseball cap on anyhow. Sometimes in life you're not going to want to do it, but if you try anyhow, you're going to find that you can muster up the strength, that you can muster up every, the attitude, that you can muster up everything you need to be everything you need to be. And that doggone train got on that track, and after a while it said, I think I can, I think I can. And it got up that hill a little bit more and it said, I think I can, I think I can. And as it got to the hardest part, it says, I know I can. Chooka, chooka, choo. Chooka, chooka, choo. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And you do I think I can enough till you wake up and say, I know I can. I got my GED. I think I could go to college. I got my four-year degree. I think I could get my master's. I got my master's degree. I know I could get my PhD. Come on, lady, say it with attitude. I know I can. I know I can. I can, I will, I must. Come on, fellas, say it. I can. Give me that bass. I can, I will, I must. Remember, you can because you have the ability to. I will because you have what it takes. I must because somebody's counting on you. It's your boy, E.T. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Make your next move your best move and make the rest of your life the best of your life. It's your boy, E.T. 2020, the world is yours. I'm going to take it. President Jennifer Adair, members of the Board of Education, and Superintendent Dr. Dixon, I certify that these Columbus Alternative High School graduates have not only met, but exceeded state and district requirements for graduation. Therefore, by the authority invested in me as a licensed principal in the state of Ohio, I indeed certify this class for graduation. Nawal Abdinur, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Rukia Abdullahi, Diploma of Distinction. Lily Agbalevu, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Seth Alexander, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Sarah Al Hashimi, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. National Honor Society. Anas Ali, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Raven Alberry, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization. Abigail Allen, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Joshua Amaro, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Brianna Anderson, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Heavenly Applin, Diploma of Graduation. 
Matthew Arnold, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Jessica Asoro, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Thomas Bailey, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization. Sonia Bainbridge, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. London Baldwin, Diploma of Distinction. Wolfgang Barth, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Makaya Biggers, Diploma of College Preparatory. Eva Burke Petrie, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Valedictorian, National Honor Society, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Israel Blankson, Diploma of Distinction. Corin Brown, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Timothy Bird, Diploma of Distinction. Santos Caceres, Diploma of College Preparatory. Jackson Kane, Diploma of Graduation. Suge Kamara, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian. National Honor Society, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate, Zamira Campbell, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center Dance, Lauren Chaffins, Diploma of College Preparatory, Arun Chitri, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Columbus Downtown Information Technology. Alyssa Chindavong, Diploma of Distinction with Honors. Naya Clark, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization. Columbus Downtown Cosmetology. Brandon Clem, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Daniel Cohen, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Amir Coles, Diploma of Graduation, Fort Hayes Career Center, Grant Hospital. Jada Combs, Diploma of Graduation, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center, Health Science. Mitzi Kwashiko, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian. Afia Donkwa, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Michaela Davis, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Adrian DeLapp, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Amanda Diaz Guevara, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Isida Diop, Diploma of Distinction. Jennifer Doan, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, National Honor Society. Alexander Doty, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Ryan Dowling, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate, Frank Fincher, Diploma of Distinction, Hannah Fish, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Michael Foley, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Brittany Fortner, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Columbus Downtown Public Safety. Evan Freeland, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Bobby Freeman, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Logan Fryman, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Laron Garland, Diploma of College Preparatory. Jacqueline Garth, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center Health Science. Kiwan Glass, 
Diploma of Distinction, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center Dance. Train, Glasgow, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, National Honor Society. Carolina Gonzalez, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center Photography. Ronaldo Gonzalez, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Kevin Gonzalez Brito, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Oliver Goodburn, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Kamari Gore, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center Art Portfolio. Connor Gott, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Benson Graham, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Michaela Graham, Diploma of Graduation. Ladarius Gunn, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Columbus Downtown Public Safety. Ayan Haji, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization. Mallory Hallworth, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Marcus Harcum, Diploma of Graduation. Julia Hayes, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Kaylee Herpelsheimer, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Mackenzie Hicks, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Columbus Downtown Cosmetology. Kai Hohenschel, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Aaron Holly, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization. Caitlin Howard, Diploma of Distinction. Tobias Heisel, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Eric Ivan, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Hafsa Jama, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center Health Science. Shayel Jogi, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Ijene Johnson, Diploma of Graduation. Jaden Johnson, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Columbus Downtown Cosmetology. Dow Cup, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, National Honor Society. Ira Kennard Sheldon, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Nefetari Kudalo, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, National Honor Society. Brooke Kuhn, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization. Sophia Kushner, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Promise Land, Diploma of Graduation. Danielle Layton, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Jelani Leffridge, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Paul Lou Gansarek, Diploma of Distinction. Rebecca Lohar, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization, National Honor Society, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Elijah Lothrop, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Christopher Lowry, Diploma of Distinction. Leon Lazinski, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian. Sharonda Lucas, 
Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center, Health Science. Maimuna Lee, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, National Honor Society. David Madume, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Tiara Manley, Diploma of Distinction. Brittany Manu, Diploma of College Preparatory with Honors, Specialization. Fort Hayes Career Center, Health Science. Gianna Martina, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization. Fort Hayes Career Center, Health Science. Carly McKay, Diploma of College Preparatory with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian. Cassandra McKnight, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, National Honor Society. Taylor McKnight, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, National Honor Society. Hannah McMullen, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center Health Science, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Natalia Medina Mendoza, Diploma of Distinction. Lydia McConan, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, National Honor Society. Monet Miller, Diploma of Distinction. Anurag Mishra, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Fadumo Mohammed, Diploma of Distinction. Abdulrahman Mohammed, Diploma of Distinction. Asya Mohammed, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Natalie Molina, Diploma of Graduation. William Mercia Rivera, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Sicaria Muse, Diploma of Graduation. Kelvin Gwynn, Diploma of Distinction with Honors. Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Michaela Noel, Diploma of College Preparatory. Specialization, Columbus Downtown Cosmetology. Abdi Rahman Muir, Diploma of Graduation, Fort Hayes Career Center, Life Care Alliance. Nanceline Numa, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Ignacia Ochoa, Diploma of Distinction. Bolinle Ogbara, Diploma of Distinction with Honors. Specialization. Valedictorian, National Honor Society, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate, Jonathan Ohm, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Valedictorian, Stephen Ortiz Montoya, Diploma of Distinction, Fario Osman, Diploma of Distinction, Fartun Osman, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Welio Osman, Diploma of Distinction. Gabriel Page, Diploma of Distinction with Honors. Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Sophia Palma, Diploma of Distinction with Honors. Specialization. Kyla Paulina Gomez, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center, Health Science. Jacob Pfeiffer, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Mario Pham, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Alyssa Proudfoot, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Ava Ryskowski, Diploma of Distinction with Honors. Sodi Rali, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization. Fort Hayes Career Center, Health Science. Carlos Reyes Ocon, Diploma of Distinction with honors. 
Specialization, National Honor Society, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidates, Jaden Reinhardt, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization, Peter Wren, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center, Automotive Technology, Ajeda Robinson, Diploma of College Preparatory, Montea Russell, Diploma of Distinction, Malik Sal, Diploma of Distinction, Mariana Sal, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate, Helen Santos Pineda, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization, Ellis Scanlon Kimura, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society, Jake Shekelhoff, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate, Vanessa Celerinta, Diploma of College Preparatory with Honors, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center, Audio Production, Reagan Seymour, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate, Megan Sharp, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate, Abdiaziz Shadad, Diploma of Distinction, Alexia Siaquina Duce, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate, Zuri Sims, Diploma of Distinction, Andre Smith, Diploma of Graduation, Columbus Downtown Culinary Arts. Justine Smith, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian. Sabrin Smith, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Luis Solorio Mercado, Diploma of Distinction. Angel Spencer, Diploma of Distinction. Henry Steinmetz, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, National Honor Society. Miriam Sai, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center, Health Science. Ibrahima Sia, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Athman Tali, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, National Honor Society. Dominic Thompson, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, National Honor Society. Zachary Torres, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Abibatu Ture, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Marianne Van Dyke, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization, Columbus Downtown Business. Brianna Walker, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization. Samantha Weeble, Diploma of College Preparatory, Specialization. Caleb White, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Zora Whitfield, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Kerwan Whitney, Diploma of Graduation. Andrew Wibbler, Diploma of Distinction. Ariana Winfrey, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization, Fort Hayes Career Center, Health Science. Alexis Wiseman, Diploma of Distinction. Jade Woods, 
Diploma of Distinction, Specialization. Fatume Yassin, Diploma of Distinction, Specialization, International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Candidate. Enoch Yurinki, Diploma of Distinction. Phoebe Yodertit, Diploma of Distinction with Honors, Specialization, Valedictorian, National Honor Society. Amaya Young, Diploma of Distinction. Will the class of 2020 please stand? To signify our completion of high school, please move your tassel from the right side to the left. Congratulations! Class of 2020, it is the privilege of the Columbus Board of Education to accept the certification of your diplomas. Let us be the first to officially congratulate you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. Columbus graduates, congratulations and best wishes for success. COVID y el racismo no pueden detenerlos. COVID y el racismo de no pueden para nos arrest. COVID and racism can't stop us. Congratulations, class of 2020. Board member Dr. Tina Pierce here. Congratulations, class of 2020. I can't wait to see all the great things you will achieve in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. We love you and all the best. Carpe diem, seize the day. Felicidades. Congratulations, class of 2020 seniors.